Hi everyone and welcome to our IICT specialist course uh, offered to you by OECTA. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to this awesome AQ course. I'm so happy to have so many of you on board uh, to join us and there are some familiar names that I see out there uh, on my class list so uh, welcome back to everyone. Um, my name is Jennifer King and I'll be your instructor uh, throughout this uh, next few months. Um, really, I'd prefer not to be called an instructor uh, since I tend to learn just as much from you as you may from the course material. Um, so really, a co-learner makes sense to me. Um, we're on this journey together from now until June 15th, which will be our final day together. Um, and I'm sure we're going to make the most of it and the learning experiences are going to be rich and meaningful and hopefully practical for you. Uh, just a little background on me. I've been teaching with the Ottawa Catholic School Board now for uh, almost 10 years. Actually, it is 10 years at this point. Um, and uh, prior to that, I was a social worker for about 13, almost 14 years, uh, working for the Children's Aid Society's um, uh, offices in both uh, the Toronto area and then again here in Ottawa. Um, so I have to tell you, one of the uh, most rewarding experiences that I have had to date, though, um, is working on these AQ courses, um, not only with some uh, course writing and course development, but also working uh, in parts one, parts two, and parts three, uh, facilitating, guiding um, um, colleagues just like you who are taking these courses um, I've developed an awesome network of, of people um, that um, are professional and uh, lifelong learners just like you. So thanks for being here. Um, I, like I mentioned, our course will be running until uh, the 15th of June. Now within um, our D2L um, framework, the platform, you can see uh, that there is a calendar that has been set up for you. And it looks a little daunting because there are a number of posts that are on there. I've literally posted everything from discussion posts to more formal um, presentations and tasks that need to be dropped into the Dropbox, so some independent sorts of assessments. So please don't fret. Um, the plan at this point is to set up uh, our groups. I've been waiting for um, a few late registrants, um, so those numbers will still be increasing. At this point, we're close to 15, if we're not at 15 already today. Um, so my plan is to um, uh, minimize the number of threads that you'll be having to sift through, which generally I've, my experience has been that they're very, very long. Um, so to try and minimize that sort of anxiety causing uh, view in your discussion boards, I'm hoping to divide you up into um, some mixed groupings of maximum four to five people per group. Um, that's my hope. So by the end of this week, you'll start noticing that um, some of those discussion boards are going to look a little different. Um, and then from module to module, we'll switch it up so that you're working with different people. If you're feeling that this isn't um, a method or a format that's working for you, by all means, let me know. Uh, sometimes people enjoy having sort of that open um, feeling where they can, uh, you know, connect with other people within the group, um, you know. But what I have done to sort of alleviate, you know, that fear of missing out of what's happening in other discussion boards is to include in the discussion tab, there's a class lounge where you will notice that there's a spot where you'll be able to make some connections with people um, via your social media presence. So Twitter handles, if you have a classroom Instagram account um, or a professional Instagram account, um, that sort of thing. Uh, Google Plus uh, communities are great too to share or your profile. Um, so you'll be able to go in there and uh, perhaps connect with a few people who may be from the same grade division or perhaps have the same uh, assignment that you may have this year. So hopefully those things will work for you. Um, again, going back to the calendar, the dates are somewhat flexible. Um, what I have done is I've provided uh, you with about a week of wiggle room toward the end of the course. I know that things get really chaotic. I'm teaching grade six and grade six seems to be my home uh, for the past number of years. It's usually a grade three or grade six sort of year, but it has been uh, in the junior panel, specifically grade six. Uh, for the past number of years. So that means there's a lot of extra planning. And I know that you have similar constraints within your own professional lives as well as your personal lives. So let's just make this as flexible um, as we possibly can for you to suit your needs, um, not only as a learner, but also as a human being, right? So to make sure that you have time to be able to enjoy some rest time as well. Um, that expectation being said, um, 
I don't expect you to be online on the weekend. I certainly don't expect you to be online at you know ridiculous times in the evening if that's not what's um, suitable to you. Um, so uh, you'll need to sort of plan that out for yourself in terms of which um, you know which sort of um, times of day work for you um, to be able to participate in some of the discussion um, threads. Uh, there will be a few online sessions. Uh, they're optional at this point. Um, it would be awesome if you could jump in, though, at least for a few. I've slated uh, two Twitter chats at this point, but we'll also make sure that we have some Adobe Connect or Google Hangout sessions as well. Um, and again, I'll send out a form um, just to see who's interested, what days and times work best for you. Um, you'll notice on the calendar, as I said, I have a few Twitter chats that are already scheduled for around the 8 o'clock time. If that's not working for you, the beauty of a Twitter chat is you can always go back in and follow a hashtag. Um, so I'm trying to make this experience um, as uh, easy and as seamless for you as I possibly can. Um, the course is relatively new as it sits. Um, the course content and, and the outline and, and everything is, is completely new. Um, so this is, I think, the second or third time we've run it since the complete rewrite. Um, so any sort of feedback you have in terms of the course content, the flow of the course, by all means, let me know. Um, we're always looking for um, you know, suggestions for improvements um, to be sure that we're meeting the needs of Ontario's teachers who are taking these courses. Um, again, I'd also like to offer you the option, as we do for our students, of more voice and choice. If there's a particular topic uh, that you're passionate about, curious about, interested in exploring more, by all means, let me know. Um, we can see where that can fit into um, any of our cor existing course material, or if it's something that you'd like to take on on the side and you'd like some support, I'm here for you um, to be able to do that. Uh, simply toss me an email. Um, I've left my cell phone uh, number for you as well to be able to call me and feel free to do so. If you text me on my cell phone, just make sure you tell me who you are, okay, before. Uh, I don't know everyone's cell phone number, so I just want to make sure that uh, I'm responding appropriately to you. Um, but I'm completely open to those forms of communication and completely comfortable with them, which is why I provided you with uh, all the coordinates. Um, the fact that you're here and dedicating all of this time um, and effort toward completing a course uh, speaks volumes to who you are as a teacher. Um, and I want to be the first one to tell you, if you haven't heard today, uh, that I appreciate you. I appreciate that you're taking this time and that you're willing to um, embark on this learning journey with me. Um, I, I appreciate you as an educator and uh, I'm, uh, I can only imagine just how lucky your students are to have you uh, with them. Uh, there will be um, a difference if you've taken part one and part two uh, through OECDA. You're going to notice that the research component is a little bit heavier with a specialist course. Now, that being said, you're going to notice that there are lots of documents to sift through. I believe that the documents that are there are documents that are going to help you as an educator, uh, certainly pique your interest in a few new topics maybe that are floating around in the ed tech world, um, and perhaps there will be a few that you may find, you know, you may not agree with. Um, all of these documents and all of the reading and the, the support materials that I'll be providing to you, whether embedded in the course or bits and pieces that I toss into the news section are meant to um, inspire you as an educator and meant to drive your learning a little bit further. Um, if you have um, some interesting things you'd like to share, whether they be videos or links to documents, by all means, um, you can pop them into um, the, the little form that I have set up for you. Uh, within the discussion tab, you'll notice that there's a class lounge um, and you're going to see in there that along with, um, you know, a spot for you to log any kind of dead links or technology problems you may be experiencing within the course uh, platform, there's also um, a forum there where you're able to um, share some resources that you've come across. If you're not on social media, um, for example, Twitter, um, this is a perfect spot to go and have a peek at some of the information and some of the um, resources that are being curated by your colleagues. So I appreciate your participation in that particular um, topic area as well. Um, 
I think really at this point, I'm going to sign off. Uh, I wanted to have a quick uh, welcome um, message to you so you can see who I am. Um, and I wanted again to reach out uh, to you to let you know um, that uh, if you're feeling uh, overwhelmed at any time during the course uh, due to the, uh, the due dates or the task materials, um, please let me know. A simple email will suffice. It will also give me a heads up and perhaps even uh, your colleagues a heads up um, if you're missing from a discussion forum for any period of time. Um, I will be contacting you if I'm noticing that there's some sort of repeated absences. Um, OECTA and OCT requires us to have 125 hours of contact with the course material, not necessarily all online, but definitely with, uh, engaging with the course material. So that being said, I will be uh, checking in to ensure that you're, um, you're reaching that uh, particular quota that we have. Um, I'm completely flexible, completely understand when things start to happen um, that may impede with course um, material, uh, the completion, so your task completion. Um, but again, that open communication is something that we'll definitely need to have happening. Um, so again, welcome to the course and I'm looking forward to um, working with you from uh, now until uh, about the middle of June. Take care.